Okay, um, we had a couple of other people have asked us to do a video on the steering wheel, the steering column. Um, so I'm going to go through the basic functions of setting the steering wheel position. Um, I'm going to go through basic fault finding, which fuse um, you need to check if you've got a problem, how to take the cover off, how to inspect for problems. And also we'll get the IID tool out and show you how to disable the, what do they call it? The easy entry. Easy or... entry, easy now, where the steering wheel, as you get out, it goes up. And anyway, we'll show you how to do that. And there's a bit of CCF configuration we can do. So we'll do that. Right. Startups, right. Basic functions. So not all models had this. Um, I think only the Vogue models had it. Um, but basically, if you've got the key, um, um, is it going to let me do it? You might need the initial one. Oh, I was at the top. Here we go. So you can move the steering wheel to get it in a position where you can see the dials and feel comfortable and good with your seat. And if you've got little arms or something, that'd be cool. Um, we can do all that. Um, there we go. Right. And you can also save it. So um, you can program on the side of your seat round here. There's a series of buttons. We're going to have a look at those. So... If I, uh, if I get it all set up so I'm really comfy, here we go, I'll have it coming out and um, go down a bit. Go so down yeah. like that, so it's all sporty. And I'll get my seat just how I want it. Then what I can do is, right, I'm happy with that. Press the memory button and then it's ready to save. And I'll, you select which one you want to save it to. So I'm going to save that to number one. Okay. And then basically when, if someone else gets in your car and messes around with it and does whatever... Then when you come back in the car, you can press number one. Press and hold it, right? Yeah, press and hold. Yeah, you've got to keep holding it until it's finished doing everything. And it kind of does one thing at a time. So there you go. And then it's put it all back. And then in theory, then when you get out the car, it's set with this easy exit thing. So it should move the steering wheel out the way for me. It's kind of slow. Um, I always manage to get out of cars without moving steering wheels. But the real problem with this function is that it can wear out the motors and the columns. So if you've got an older one, it might be worth turning that functionality off. And unfortunately, you can only do it as far as I'm aware. Um, I guess you could pull the fuse out. No, you can't pull the fuse out. Um, the only way you can do it is in the CCF files. Right, let's jump around back over the other side. Sorry, and we've got you running around everywhere. So... So we've got functionality, the fuse, Ian worked out which fuse it is. Do you want me to point it out with the key? So it was, oh you got the pliers there. Oh, so we might need some illumination in here. Yeah. So which one was it? It was that one there, wasn't it? So it fuse was the... 20. Guys, show them on the show them on the thing here so they know what icon it is. It's that one there, this one here. So it's okay, F so it's like a little and F20 it, uh, and it's right. So right in the middle, this 30 amp fuse here yep. um, is the one that you need to take out. And if you take that out and check that, so if so, first of all, if you lose functionality, now when you that fuse, we've taken it out, you can't move your seat. So if you've lost the ability to move your seat and move your steering wheel, it will be that fuse that's gone. Um, right, what next? Um, IID tool, I reckon. Um, no, let's right. So if you want to have a look under it, let's have a look under it. Um, so basically, th there's a cowling that comes off here. I've not taken it off before, but I've, I've read it can be taken off. Um, and it's best to put your steering wheel as much this way up as you can go. And yeah, I think you're all the way. I think I'm all the way. So that we've got as much access to this bit as we can. Right. Oh, oh. right. Now we've got a Torx T25. I did have another one as well somewhere. Um, for some reason, there's three little holes under here. You got enough light in? Um, one of them is a different size. So they, and you need quite a long screwdriver. I had a standard screwdriver and it wouldn't, it wasn't long enough to reach all the way. What did I do with that other Torx bit in? Dropped it in the car somewhere. Yes. like this one's popping out. Oh, well done it. As well as filming. So that's that one loose. It's not come out. And then I'm, so that was Torx. Yeah you can read what that one was in. 
And that, that was, was a T20. And then so you got T20 and T25? T25, yeah. Now, I don't know if this is standard or someone's messed with my car previously. Not me. I did have, there you go, that one. So they're all, they, it looks like they're all fairly close together, aren't they? Yeah. They're all kind of clustered together. We don't think there's any further down. They don't seem to drop, no, not on this. Oh, one of them just fell out. There we go. You can have that one. Have a look at that one. So they're quite a big, big head on them. There you go. And that's the second one. So we've still got one that decided not to. And I guess then this part of this cowling is going to come off. That's the third one there. Oh, third one. Yeah. So that was that. So yeah, that's that. So middle. yeah, they are. So. So yeah, you can see that That's the two it. bigger holes are the bigger one, and the smaller holes, and they all come up through. You see, you've got that's quite a a long distance. Um, so these seem to have some clips here. If I put my finger behind it, seems like we've got some little clampy clips there. So you need to release those, right? And that, you can probably then, for a bit of extra light, just remove that top one. And then if I get the torch, we can. Well, we can probably see what the motors are doing then, can we? We'll have a, we'll get a torch and we'll have a little look and see what we can see. Okay, so we got the cowling off and we've exposed all the mechanics. So I'm going to try and demonstrate what happens. So if I do the forward and back tilt, you can see that there's the spindle down here. So this is like towards your face and away from your face. Now that one seems to be the more reliable one. The one to watch is this one here. When I do the rake angle, put the light down a bit. You want to get a little better. bit better? There you go. All right. Now what happens here? You can see the little brass carriage, but it's got these two forks. In fact, it's got a fork each side here, and the same at the back. And these forks snap off, and then the steering wheel flops about. So I'll just show you that again, so you can see what. And apparently another problem is, when they get right to the end, here, it, you can see it sort of pinged out a little bit if you replay the video. And, the, and that can cause these, these um, forks to fail. Now, one problem is, when you're using it all the time, if you have the easy access mode on, um, it, can wear, it can wear it out. Now, this car's already got a ridiculous mileage on it, so we're going to have a go at plugging in the IID tool and deactivating it so bear with me so this is the i've got the iid tool plugged in here let me just show you again so that's the tool if you haven't seen it before this is the iid bluetooth diagnostics tool and the the little thing is up on the inside of under here let me just feel my way in here And the lights should flick when we're in. You see the light flicker in there. Right, and now we can go on my phone, open up the app. Bear with me a second. It's not recognizing my finger today. Right, here we go. So, right, get comfy. So, we're going to go into the gap tool. We're going to connect to the last. Or we'll just tool. search for tool. Search for tool. Right. When using the ID tool, we're going to change some of the CCF files. Make sure you're connected to a battery charger or your engine's running. Ideally, connected to a battery charger. If you run your engine, make sure you're outside. Um, right then. So we're going to go into the car configuration, which is this bottom field here. Okay. And it's going to load the CCF, so we continue there. All right, switch the ignition on. We can do that. Bear with me. So what's the function call we're going to turn off, Ian? Is, is it? And the, so you had a quick look at easy this. access. So easy. we should get the first thing we should get is two lists. There we are. Now obviously the, two lists. the confirm list is the safe one where the guys at Gap have tested and confirmed those. The other one contains some untested ones. 
Now, is this function in the confirm list? Let's I think it's in the look. confirm list. All right, now what we can do, this is a whole massive, oh, it hasn't, but can we, we can search here, search can't we? Search easy, I think it is. It's search. easy entry or easy, easy access or something. Okay, easy. Driver's seat, there you go. There you go, e DSM, it's under that one, you reckon? It's under it? driver's seat, I think, yep. Okay. So ah, right, so axial steering wheel is currently Easy entry is currently yes, so I want to disable that now. Interestingly, the radial one, so you must be able to configure it to go radially. Must I think be ours up. go. I think ours goes up, but it doesn't go oh. in and out. Okay, so we think the axial one is going up. It's do up we? and down. I think so. Yeah, um, but we want to turn them both off. So, so we, if we just touch the field here, um, click to note. No. Okay. Apply. Apply. So it doesn't do anything yet, but you can see this one's turned blue, which means current is yes, new is no. The green one here, we're not changing at all. And then you've got upload changes at the bottom. Or you could go back, and back. if you want to configure multiple things, you can do multiple things at once. We're just going to do this one. We're going to go upload the changes here. Right, and it says upload these changes. It's confirmed what it's doing from yes to no. So I think that there will give you a whole list of all your changes if you've decided to do multiple ones. Right now, it's got to rewrite the CCF file, I think. Oh, is this done? Is it? That was a quick one. Um, so oh, you cool. can go car configuration, you could just search you could it go, again yeah, Let's and go and have a look. Continue, let's go into easy now, and then we'll just test that and see whether that has. And hopefully, when we uh, take the key out, the steering wheel won't move. It's a pair, fairly peculiar angle now, so I think it should move because that's quite low. So search this again. Oh, if I could type it without. There we go. Driver seat. So they're both, both no off. and no. Right, so I'm happy now. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to. I think you're supposed to disconnect the tool. I did see there. Disconnect. I use disconnect tool. Yes. Right, so I'm now disconnected. Okay. Right. right. Now, let's just turn the ignition off because we're on from modifying the tool. And our steering wheel hasn't moved. Moved. Turn it on. Yep, so it won't move. It won't move. Obviously, when you press your memory button, let's press my memory one that I programmed earlier. Oh, we've got to press hold and hold. It. So all the functionality still works. Oh my god, it's moving my seat and everything. So it's got me back to my position, but every time I get in and out now, it's not going to move, which isn't going to inconvenience me too much and it's going to give me loads more life on my steering wheel adjustment motors. Good luck with that.